Speaker, and thank you for giving me a moment to uh, speak to this bill, which I am very pleased to support. I am a fiddler, not perhaps very good, but I have a good time with my violin, and uh, I do have a lovely violin, thanks to the generosity of my mom and dad, who who uh, gave me a beautiful instrument some years ago. My aspiration is to do that instrument justice at some point in my life. And although I went on with my music and did my degree with piano, violin was always my first love. And whether it is the concerto of Tchaikovsky or Mendelssohn, or whether it is the Straths Bays or the Jigs or the Laments that we have in our Celtic music today, I, uh, I have a deep passion for the music of the fiddle, the violin, and how it can stir the emotions of the heart. But Mr. Speaker, we have had wonderful cultural experiences here in Canada, visiting Prince Edward Island, where in the same village you can go from a Cayley one night where you're experiencing the music of, of Ireland or Scotland over to a house party where the same instrument is participating in the music of the Acadian uh, people with their step dancing and, and the wonderful emotion that, that evokes. Or when I was in Newfoundland and I took my fiddle with me, I was on a concert tour in Newfoundland in the summer of 2008 and had the opportunity to go to George Street where you just pull up a chair in a music circle and people come and go from that music circle all evening, but a variety of instruments, but lots and lots of fiddles. Or when I was in Cape Breton and I had the opportunity to attend the uh, Celtic College in Cape Breton and do some fiddle classes there and learn to experience some of the other music that was being played in Cape Breton. We have so much wonderful music that can be played on that instrument. I have a daughter who decided to uh, take up the fiddle and she loves the music of Eastern Europe and plays that music as opposed to the Celtic music. But Mr. Speaker, what I really want to do tonight is to pay tribute to the wonderful instructors that we have here in Canada. We have some remarkable musicians. And I think of the people like Natalie McMaster, who comes out of the East Coast, whose name has not been mentioned here tonight, but one of the people who brought back in, that, in the 1990s the wonderful love for the fiddle music. When I was in Prince Edward Island, I visited the uh, Summerside School of Piping and spent some time with the gentleman there who was making the fiddles for the Rankin family another group that came out of Cape Breton who provided Canada with a remarkable position in the world of music, in the world of Celtic music, and the fabulous fiddling that came from that group. But I really want to pay tribute to those people who have undertaken to instruct young people in the art of fiddling because so often they don't get the recognition they deserve. And whether it is a teacher who is starting with a young, young student to apprise them of, of the, the fingering, as my colleague from Timmins was saying, the DGAE fingering that, that is seemingly so simple on the fiddle but needs accuracy in the position of the fingering. Those instructors are the ones who painstakingly take the time to inform young students, first of all, of the mechanics of the instrument itself, but secondly, they introduce them to the wealth of music that they can speak through into a variety of cultures. And so I would like to pay tribute tonight to several people in my life, Philip Howes, who is an instructor from Markham with whom I had the opportunity to study. Philip is a remarkable musician himself. He is a regular adjudicator at fiddle competitions across Canada. He and his wife have recorded a number of CDs and I would commend those to my colleagues if they're looking for some good music. Philip is a remarkable fiddler and uh, he is a delight to listen to. I would also like to pay tribute to Bob and Ginny Arbuckle, constituents of mine in Newmarket Aurora. Bob is a remarkable fiddler as well, and again, a 
a gentleman who has poured his life into instructing young people in the art of music. Ginny sadly has passed, but we had many, many nights at my house where Bob would bring his fiddle and I would get out my fiddle and Ginny would play the piano and we would do lots of wonderful Celtic music. So Mr. Speaker, I would just like to offer my thanks to those people who have become the instructors, many of them remarkable musicians in their own right, but they have poured their lives into the life of others so that they too can learn the fiddle and learn to appreciate so much of the wonderful cultural experience that we have to offer in this great country of ours. Thank you. The Honourable